Welcome to Log On to Learn's virtual classroom. My name is Matt and I will guide you through this session. This is just one of our many video tutorials, so check out our library at logontolearn.com to find related sessions. Let's move on to the lesson. Hello, and welcome to What Are Google Apps? Web searches are just the beginning. In this session, we'll look at the many, many applications that make up Google Apps, their functionality, and try to figure out just how we can increase our productivity by using these great tools. We're going to start off at the Google website. The familiar white screen with the colorful Google logo is familiar to most of us. In fact, Google is the most visited website on the planet. However, behind this plain facade are many, many options. Most of them we can access right here from the Google homepage, and we don't even have to perform a search for them. First of all, if you have a Google ID, you can sign in in the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you don't, don't worry. We'll show you how to create an account in a future session. We also have access to Gmail, Google's extremely popular mail service. But it goes much deeper than that. If I click on the More button, I can see there are Google Books, Finance, Translate, Scholar, blogs, and much, much more. And if I go to the bottom of the drop-down list and choose even more, I get a full list of the Google products. This is an extensive list, and we're not going to cover all of these applications. However, we will talk about some of the main ones that can really help you and your company out. In fact, Let's take a look at some of the more popular items. In making the transition from Google to Google Apps, we're going to focus on a few of the main applications in the Google Apps suite. We'll start with Google Docs. Google Docs is itself a suite where we can create word processing documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and forms. There's also Gmail. This is Google's fully functioning mail program. Google Calendar. We can create a calendar to keep track of our own events, follow others' events, or subscribe to calendars from other users. Groups. With groups, we can create a group, invite users to be a part of our group, and then send files and information to that group. We can also join existing groups. Reader. If you currently use RSS feeds or rely on current up-to-date information, Reader can be a valuable tool. iGoogle creates a home page like interface for Google users. You can add the Google Apps that you currently use, plus other widgets in an easy-to-find, easy-to-use interface. And finally, in future sessions, we will also look at some of the other Google tools that may be helpful. In this session, we'll look at several different Google Apps interfaces. However, if you're interested in more information on any of these apps, Look to our other sessions where we go into them in more depth. This is the Google Mail or Gmail interface. I simply went to google.com, clicked the Gmail link in the upper left hand corner, and signed in. Once you're signed in to Google, you can access all of the Google Apps. For instance, I can click on Calendar and see my calendar. Inside the calendar, we have views for day, week, month, four days, and agenda. We can also create an event. For greater functionality around the calendar, check out our Google Calendar session. I can also go to Google Documents. 
From here, it's very simple and easy to create new documents. I simply click on Create New and select the document type. I'll create a document. What I get is a new word processing document and I have a familiar menu structure to guide me through the process of creating a document. When I'm done, I can save it. And this came in as its own tab, so I'll simply close out of that tab and my document will appear in a moment. I can also access Reader from here, Web, and through the More button, Photos, Sites, Groups, etc. If I want to return to Google Mail, I simply go back up to the top of my screen and click on the Gmail tab. And since each of these apps opened in a new tab, I can easily access my calendar or my Google Docs interface by clicking on those tabs. And that's the introduction to Google Apps. To find out more about all of the individual apps, check out our other sessions at logontolearn.com.